Y'all got L's in here? Y'all ain't got L's? L's? Yeah. Nah. No L's. That's cause they ain't not out here. Right, he ain't on nothing. He ain't on nothing. And I can merch it. That got one of the L's right there. Down now. Come here, shorty. Come here, shorty. It's Pappy. It's Pappy. It's Pappy. Bring that in, shorty. Bring that there. On this ass. Oh. We talking, talking about this war. This war that's been forever. This war. Then the war that we we is definitely ahead. Blake, hold on, Blake, Kino, Keon, Lil E, Valon, Vani, who Munchy, that's seven. AJ, AJ that's eight. Oh, I forgot about AJ. Di, Jonathan, I could name a lot of you. Let's keep it 100. I name everybody. Now on folks, this is some real who 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 did who did y'all who y'all took? Who free JB, JB Moosey That's four Keo that's five Six. Five motherfuckers Five motherfuckers G on folks I just literally counted like eight motherfuckers I'll just see me watch Just count it on bro You know shit a fucking merch we killed them motherfuckers. That's why you busy be getting overkill, headshots, and execution side. Yeah, on bro, and we be overkilling y'all. On bro, and on folks. All niggas y'all lost, we overkilled y'all. You on May 29th, 2015, my favorite Chicago drill rapper, Young Poppy, was shot and killed. During his short career, his violent lyrics shed light on one of the deadliest wars happening in Chicago. This war claimed the lives of dozens of people, a lot of them being teenagers, and is still going on till this day. In this video, we'll be breaking down the war between PBG and Loke City, but before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. PBG is a set of primarily gangster disciples from the Farewell and Ashland and the Morrison Ashland areas of Chicago. They are originally known as ICG, standing for the Insane Cutthroat Gangsters, but they would adopt the name PBG, standing for Pooh Bear Gang, following the death of a beloved member named Anton Pooh Bear Sanders. They really built a name for themselves as a group due to the rise of one of their members named Young Poppy as one of the biggest rappers in Chicago during the height of the drill rap era. PBG is allied with TFG and OTE. PBG beasts with Day Day World and Little Four Mob. Their main ops, though, are none other than Loke City. Loke City, standing for loyalty over cash, is a set of primarily gangster disciples. They are from the Howard and Ashland area of Chicago. The conflict between PBG and Loke City originated in the late 1990s when kids at Sullivan High School began fighting amongst each other. The kids from the Howard Street area would fight with the kids from the Farwell Street area after school. The fights would travel up and down the streets that are between Howard and Farwell. At some point, the older gang members from both factions started hanging around after school and this added to the problems. The conflict increased over time and eventually fist fights turned into shootings. Both sides had various members that were friends with each other due to a lot of them attending Sullivan High School together. However, this would all change and a war would break out following a horrific murder in 2008. On December 19th, 2008, an ICG member named Freaky, real name Isaiah Stroud, was stabbed to death in the 1500 block of West Jarvis Avenue outside of a CTA Red Line station. In the days following the attack, a Loke City member named Montreal Williams was charged with the murder. Another man named David Bell was also suspected to be involved in this murder, but he fled to the Bronx, New York. After a nationwide manhunt, the police were eventually able to track him down and he was extradited back to Chicago. Freaky was killed as retaliation for an earlier fight near Sullivan High School in which three people were stabbed, but they all survived their injuries. Freaky's death would stamp the war between PBG and Loke City, but the next death years later would cause things to escalate to a whole other level. 
On January 20th, 2012, a beloved ICG member named Pooh Bear, real name Anton Sanders, was found dead in an alley with multiple gunshot wounds. Years after his death, a local city member would agree to give the police information to help them finally close the case. The local city member told them everything that happened. The informant told the police that Pooh Bear was killed by two local city members named Munchie and Rocket Man. The crazy thing about it is that Pooh Bear and Munchie were once close friends. The informant testified that Pooh Bear and Munchie would go on drills together and shoot at Four Corner Hustler and Latin King members. The two would spend a lot of time together and sleep at each other's houses. The two remained friends even though they are on opposite sides of the escalating war between ICG and Loke City. This would all change when Munchie thought that Pooh Bear had stolen a 9mm handgun from him. The informant told police that Munchie was enraged by this and plotted to kill Pooh Bear. On the day of January 20th, Munchie lured Pooh Bear by telling him to meet up with him so they could slide on members of the Four Corner Hustlers. Once Pooh Bear arrived at the Greed Upon location, Munchie was waiting there with Rocket Man. The three began walking together when Munchie turned towards Pooh Bear and shot him. The informant claimed that Munchie told him that Pooh Bear was begging for his life. Munchie then handed the gun to Rocket Man and told him to shoot Pooh Bear. Rocket Man proceeded to shoot Pooh Bear as well, then they both fled the scene. Neither Munchie nor Rocket Man would ever be arrested for this murder, and the truth behind Pooh Bear's death would never be officially revealed until years after the deaths of everyone involved. Pooh Bear was a very beloved member of ICG, so they would change their name to PBG, standing for Pooh Bear Gang, to honor his memory. The death of Pooh Bear would set off a rage in PBG members that could only be fueled by bloodshed. On January 23, 2012, two men were sitting in an SUV stopped at a traffic light in the Rogers Park neighborhood when gunfire erupted. The 26-year-old driver and his 27-year-old passenger were shot at about 12.46 a.m., causing the vehicle they were riding in to strike a tree in the 7600 block of North Sheridan Road. They were identified by the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office later in the morning as Dion Miller and Jonathan Bell. Both Dion and Jonathan, also known as John John, were friends with members of Loke City, but were unfortunately at the wrong place at the wrong time. They attempted to drive off after being shot, but crashed a short distance away. The driver, Dion, who was shot in the leg, was taken to St. Francis Hospital where he was pronounced dead. John John was pronounced dead at the scene. It is widely believed that they were allegedly killed by members of PBG as retaliation for Pooh Bear's death. On April 5, 2012, a PBG member named James Brown was on the 6800 block of North Ashland Avenue when a gunman pulled up and shot him in the upper torso. The gunman shot him from the inside of a dark colored vehicle and drove away. James was rushed to St. Francis Hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 22 years old. The crazy thing about it is that James was lucky to even be free at the time of his death. He was out on parole for shooting a nine-year-old while trying to gun down the nine-year-old's older brothers who were Loke City members. It is widely rumored that Munchie was the gunman allegedly responsible for James Brown's death. Following James's death, PBG would allegedly commit two murders back-to-back -back as retaliation. On July 5th, 2013, a member of Loke City named Little E, real name Elliot Frazier, was in the 7400 block of North Polina Street when he was shot in the chest. The police found him dead on the scene and he had significant blood force trauma to his head. According to reports, the offender struck his head with their car after shooting him. Members of PBG were allegedly responsible for his death and they would commit another horrific murder less than 10 days later. On July 14, 2013, a Loke City member named Blake, full name Blake Lamb, was in the 1600 block of West John Quill Terrence when gunmen pulled up and shot him in the head multiple times. Blake was found unresponsive on a sidewalk and pronounced dead at the scene about an hour and a half later at just 22 years old. According to paperwork release due to the Freedom of Information Act, a witness identified a PBG member and rapper named Spaz as one of the shooters in this incident. However, there was not enough evidence to charge him with the murder. 
Following his death, Blake would be dissed in nearly every single song that PBG members would make. They even put a picture of his body covered in a white sheet in one of their music videos and they would record themselves driving near the location that he was killed at and diss him. With this blatant disrespect going on, Loke City retaliating was inevitable. On February 5th, 2014, rapper and PBG member Young Poppy, another PBG member named Keo, and two other people were outside of a McDonald's in the Rogers Park neighborhood when they got into an argument with someone. Shortly after this argument, a masked gunman approached them on foot and opened fire. Poppy was shot in the arm and Keo was shot in the head. The two other people with them were shot as well. Poppy and the two other victims survived their injuries, but sadly, Keo did not have the same fate. Keo would be pronounced dead at just 17 years old. It is widely believed that Keo was allegedly killed by a member of Loke City named King Tai. King Tai was a rapper as well, and he released a song called DOA, in which he included the news clippings of Keo's murder and seemingly hinted at allegedly being the one responsible for Keo's death. Man, I play around, I will be okay, cause I'm the type of teenager is dead, three others hurt after a masked gunman opened fire outside at a McDonald's. Tony Francisco is in Rogers Park with more. Tanya? Robin, the victim has been identified as 17-year-old Mark Hale Carr. Yesterday, his young life was cut short by a gunman's bullet. On April 15, 2014, a Loke City member named Kino was standing outside of a friend's apartment in the 7600 block of North Ashland Avenue when someone in a gray minivan driving by shot him multiple times. By the time officers arrived at the scene, Kino was already gone. He was pronounced dead at just 16 years old. A PBG member named Sean is rumored to be the alleged gunman in this incident. Similar to Blake, PBG members would diss Kino relentlessly in their songs and on social media. About five months after this, PBG would finally catch their biggest target. As I mentioned earlier, Pooh Bear was killed by a Loke City member named Munchie. PBG naming their whole gang after Pooh Bear should show you how beloved he was amongst his peers. As a result, Munchie became the main person that PBG was looking for when they went on drills. A PBG member released private messages he had with Munchie, in which Munchie was calling for an end to the war. Unfortunately, things were too far gone. On September 11th, 2014, PBG would finally catch him. On that day, Munchie was in the 1600 block of West Juneway Terrence when gunmen pulled up and shot him repeatedly. When officers arrived, they pronounced Munchie, real name Glenford Johnson, dead at the scene at just 19 years old. A known killer from PBG named Bang Dehida's car was set on fire following this incident. He would mock Loke City members for this on social media for setting his car on fire instead of catching a body in response. Munchie's death was a celebration for PBG. Young Pappy released songs bragging about his murder and making him pay for what Pooh Bear's mother went through dealing with her son's death. I know I remember that day in September was left on the green and you gon' pay for what the poop that mama go do. On May 29, 2015, PBG would take a devastating loss. The loss actually has nothing to do with this war, but it's too important not to mention. On that day, PBG would lose young Poppy. Poppy's music was blowing up at the time, and I honestly believe that he would be one of the biggest rappers today if he was still alive. At around 1.35 a.m., Poppy was with a friend in the 4800 block of North Kenmore Avenue when a gunman walked up and started shooting. Poppy was hit twice in the back and taken to Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead at 3.01 a.m. at just 20 years old. Young Poppy was allegedly killed by another one of PBG's ops called Little Four Mob. This was the third time an attempt on his life was made. This loss hit hard as Poppy was PBG's best chance to escape the trenches of Chicago. Following this incident, two PBG members and Poppy's closest friends named Sean and Spaz would commit multiple murders to honor his memory. Just two days after Poppy's death, PBG Spaz would hunt someone down and kill them immediately after they dissed Poppy on Facebook. 
On June 1st, 2015, a Lok City member named AJ, real name Clifton Fry, was standing on a sidewalk in the 7600 block of North Ashland Avenue near Wiley B. White Park and across the street from Gale Elementary School when a shooter approached him and opened fire, striking him twice in the back. AJ was taken to St. Francis Hospital in Evanston in critical condition. He would be in the hospital on life support for two weeks before ultimately being pronounced dead. PBG Spaz, real name Jermel Dossier, was charged with this murder and police determined that he did it because AJ dissed Poppy on Facebook. The crazy thing about this whole situation is that Spaz is still in county jail and hasn't been convicted yet even though it's been nearly 10 years since it happened. Over the years, a PBG member named Little Sean would build a reputation for himself as a feared shooter in the streets. In his quest to avenge Poppy's death, he would gun down one of his ops in broad daylight in front of his kids. On July 17, 2015, a Lok City member named V12, real name Valen Francis, and his fiance had been outside playing with their kids, ages 7, 4, and 3, when they noticed little Sean riding his bicycle down the street at about 1.30 p.m. V12 and his fiance recognized little Sean as being dangerous, so they rushed their kids inside the house. As the couple gathered their kids kids toys outside their home in the 2000 block of West Arthur Avenue, Sean walked back towards the house with a black hoodie pulled tightly around his face. As V12 reached for his daughter's bicycle, Sean opened fire, striking V12 four times. All three children and the fiance were still outside when the shooting occurred. V12 was taken to St. Francis Hospital where he was later pronounced dead. An eyewitness saw the whole thing and told police that little Sean was the shooter. As a result, he was arrested a few days later. Little Sean was ultimately sentenced to consecutive sentences of 30 years imprisonment for first degree murder and 25 years imprisonment for the firearm enhancement. Since they are consecutive sentences, after he serves the 30 years for murder, he would then have to serve 25 years for the gun, totaling 55 years in prison. Following these events, PBG would take another big loss of their own. On November 26, 2015, a PBG member named Mosey, real name John Tay Walker, was standing outside in the 2200 block of West Thorm Avenue when at about 1.15 p.m., someone exited a vehicle nearby, walked up, and opened fire. Police said the shooter then jumped into a dark green minivan, which sped away northbound. Mosey suffered multiple gunshot wounds to the head and body, and was pronounced dead at the scene at just 23 years old. It is why they believe that he was allegedly killed by members of Lok City. Following his death, PBG would go on a killing spree. On May 8th, 2016, a Lok City member named Kiki, real name Keon Lewis, was riding in a car with two other people when another vehicle pulled up alongside them and someone inside it opened fire. Kiki was shot in the lower back and the vehicle crashed. Officers responded to the crash and found him alone in the car. He was taken to Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center where he was pronounced dead at 35 years old. It is widely believed that PBG members were responsible for this. On September 27, 2016, a member of Lok City named Vani, real name Javon O'Brien, was shot in the head at 4.05 a.m. in the 1500 block of West Jonquil Terrence. After being hit by gunfire, he was taken by friends to St. Francis Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at just 26 years old. On August 20th, 2017, a member of Lok City named Remo, real name Remus Campbell, was with a group of people standing outside at about 4.30 a.m. on the sidewalk in the 7700 block of North Ashland when someone in a Ford SUV fired shots in their direction. Remo was shot in the neck and taken to St. Francis Hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 32 years old. A 23-year-old man was shot in the left hip and a 23-year-old woman suffered a gunshot wound to the neck in this incident, but they survived their injuries. It is widely believed that PBG members were responsible for the shooting. A few years later, PBG would take another loss of their own. 
On June 27, 2019, a PBG member named Little D-Boy, real name Quentin Brown, was standing outside in the 6900 block of North Glenwood Avenue when someone on foot shot him four times in the abdomen, once in the mouth, twice in the left leg, and once in the right leg. He was taken to St. Francis Hospital in critical condition and would pass away at just 17 years old. It is widely believed that members of Loke City were allegedly responsible for this. On October 26, 2022, Lok City rapper King Ty was sitting in the backseat of a car when a jeep pulled up next to him and people in it started shooting. King Ty was shot in the back and taken to St. Francis Hospital where he was pronounced dead. At least 25 spent shell casings from two different guns were found on the scene. It is widely believed that PBG members were responsible since Ty was killed in PBG territory. The crazy thing about this video is that this war is still going on till this day. It's sad to see all of the senseless bloodshed that leads to nothing but broken families and long jail sentences. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.